Most of the specialty drinks we get it in Starbucks or other coffee shops, they all essentially have espresso and the milk froth. So with this coffee maker, now we can make the espresso and I also have a milk frother so I can make the beautiful milk froth in it and I can top the espresso with the milk froth. So I'll have my latte, cappuccino, hot chocolate ready in just a matter of seconds. Instant dual pot plus coffee maker. I know you might have a lot of questions. If this coffee maker is better than Cura coffee maker, is it better than Nespresso coffee machines? In this video, I'm going to do a detailed review and demonstration of this coffee maker. The look and feel of this coffee maker is pretty good. It's very robust. So the exterior is made of high-end plastic material and it's pretty heavy. So on the back, there is a 68 ounce removable water reservoir. Power consumption is 1500 watts. Before I get into the details and show you guys how to brew espresso and coffee in this coffee maker, I know you must be wondering what's special about this Instant Duo Pot Plus coffee maker or what makes this different from other coffee machines, right? So listen to me guys, this is the only coffee machine on the market that's compatible with Keurig, K-Cup Pots, Nespresso capsules, and you can also brew your own ground coffee in the reusable pod. So there is one reusable pod included with this coffee maker. Now that's quite convincing and that makes this three-in-one functionality coffee maker. Most importantly, we can control the amount of sugar in all of our drinks. So recently I watched a video on YouTube and I'm totally shocked to find out the amount of sugar in all of the drinks in Starbucks and other coffee shops. So I'm gonna share the clip with you guys. So get ready to be sugar shocked. How much sugar is in here? One, this is gonna really take a while. Oh my gosh, six, 13. 13 teaspoons. That's 54 grams of sugar. After owning this coffee maker, honestly, I haven't had cappuccino or latte or espresso from any of the coffee shops. I've been literally making espresso or coffee in this coffee maker every single day. So indeed, I am saving some bucks. I've been using this coffee maker for almost a month, so I already did the unboxing. On the top part, it has a touch screen LED control panel and here is the power button. On the back side, here is the water tank. So this is removable and it also has a lid. So it has a max line indicator and a minimum line indicator. When the water level is below the minimum line, the water sign on the control panel will start to blink. So right now it's blinking. So the water level is below the minimum line. So this is the low water alert. I'm gonna fill the tank with water. So it's recommended to use filtered water rather than tap water. Here is the top cover, so there is a handle, hold on to that and open the top cover. There are two pod holders in here. So one is only for espresso. So that's where we have to put the Nespresso original capsules. So this only works with Nespresso original capsules. This is for espresso. So this coffee maker is not compatible with Nespresso virtual capsules. So that's for coffee. And the other pod holder, that's for the coffee only. So that's where we have to put the K-cup pods and the reusable pod with our own ground coffee. That's the reason this is called Instant Dual Pod Plus Coffee Maker. On the top, there is a sharp needle, so you have to be very careful. Even inside the pod holder, there is a sharp needle. On the control panel, there is a setting called Bold. So when we turn this on, this will let us brew a more flavorful cup of coffee by increasing the brew time and also the temperature. So it will extract more flavor from a coffee pod or espresso pod. On the front side, here is the brew spout. So the espresso or coffee will come through this outlet. Here is the drip tray. So we can remove this, just pull it and it will come off pretty easily. And any dripping will fall into this tray. So cleanup is pretty easy. So I love the fact it has six brew sizes. For espresso, it has three brew sizes, two ounce, four ounce, and six ounce. And for coffee, it has eight ounce, 10 ounce, and 12 ounce. 
When we make coffee, eight ounce and above, we need a large mug and we can keep it on the drip tray. Here is the espresso cup support. It's hard to figure this out. It took me a while to realize this is the espresso cup support. So if you are making two ounce or four ounce espresso, we can keep the cup over here. This is travel mug friendly. So fits up to seven inch tall, six ounce travel mug when we remove the drip tray. When you pull the espresso cup support, here is the used pot container. So after brewing coffee and espresso, the pots will fall into this container. This coffee maker also comes with a reusable coffee pod. So this holds two tablespoon coffee and it has a metal mesh filter. The dimension of this coffee maker, it's 13 inches height, side to side 6.5 inches and with the lid open, it's 21 inches tall. So with the lid open, this is a pretty tall coffee maker. This coffee maker uses 19 bars of pressure to force water into capsules. Alright guys, let's go shopping and get the Nespresso capsules browsing through the brochure so we have to get the Nespresso original capsules there are so many collections and different flavors of espresso I love caramel flavored espresso so I got one sleeve of caramel creme brulee espresso so this is how it looks like so this is called one sleeve and one sleeve has 10 capsules other flavors I got Milano Intenso so this is limited edition I love the design and also Paris espresso when you buy the capsules at the boutique, you will be able to sample the espresso. Done shopping, so I got the Nespresso capsules. Let's get the Cura K-Cup pods. It's available in all the grocery stores. So go to the coffee aisle and literally all coffee brands make K-Cup pods. There are 70 plus coffee brands. You can get the coffee brand that you love the most. You will also find capsules that are made by other companies compatible with Nespresso original coffee machines. So that means we can also use those pods in our instant dual pod plus coffee maker. You will also find 100% compostable coffee pods or capsules made with plant-based materials. I got the Nespresso capsules and the K-Cup pods. Now it's time to brew. First, I'm going to show you guys how to brew espresso. So I'll be using Nespresso Caramel Creme Brulee Capsules. If you look at the sleeve, it will say how to brew this. So this is great for making espresso and cappuccino. This is how Nespresso Original Capsule looks like and this contains 5 to 7 grams of coffee. So that means each capsule of coffee can make about 2 ounces of espresso. In this coffee maker, we can only use Nespresso Original Espresso Capsules. It's not compatible with Virtual Coffee Capsules. As you can see, there is a difference in shape for these capsules. Before brewing the espresso, make sure there is enough water in the water tank. I'm gonna brew espresso. For making espresso, we have to put the Nespresso espresso capsules in the pod holder on the right side. Put the capsule in the pod holder and close it. Open the espresso cup support and let's place an espresso cup on it. Turn on the power. I always turn on the bold setting. It will brew a very flavorful espresso. So I'm gonna go with four ounce. If you want a very concentrated espresso, you can go with two ounce. When you make the first cup of espresso in this coffee maker, it will take a few seconds to brew. However, the second cup, it will brew instantly. There will not be any wait time. When the brewing is complete, the coffee maker will beep. The espresso is ready and look at that beautiful crema on the top. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to brew Cura K-Cup pods. So I have chai latte here. So these are the Cura K-Cup capsules. Cura K-Cup pods, we have to put it in the coffee pod only holder. So I'm going to put it in this pod holder. So there is a sharp needle on the top. So when we close the cover, this needle will insert into the pod. 
selecting 8 oz Here is the chai latte brewed using Curac capsule. Used Curac pods, it will not fall into the container, so we have to take it out. I have brewed a couple of espressos and hot chocolate, so all the used pods will drop into this container. Next, I'm gonna show you guys how to brew coffee in a reusable pod. So this pod came with the coffee maker. This is about the same of a Keurig K-cup pod and this will hold two tablespoons of ground coffee. So I'm gonna put ground coffee to this. You can use your favorite ground coffee. Close the pod. For some reason, this pod will not close tightly. So that's okay. When we put it in the pod holder, it will work fine. Open the cover and we need to place this in the coffee only pod holder gently close the cover and the needle will insert into the pod and select 8 oz so this is coffee so we have to select 8 oz after brewing the coffee it will make this sound this is quite normal Let's take the pod out of the pod holder. So now look at it. It's closed very tightly. Clean this reusable pod. First, we need to empty the ground coffee to a plate. Don't dump this directly into the sink. It might eventually clog up the sink drain. So empty this to a plate or you can put this in the trash. So completely empty the pod and then we can clean this under running water. Here is the stainless steel reusable capsule. If you want to make espresso using ground espresso, we can do that in this. So this was not included in the coffee maker. I bought this separately on Amazon. This is pretty good. It's reusable, made of premium stainless steel, and it comes with a brush and a coffee spoon. The lid is pretty tight, so remove the lid and this can hold 4 grams of ground espresso. So I'm going to show you guys how to brew espresso using this. Use the spoon and fill the capsule with ground espresso. So here I'm using ground coffee for demonstration purpose. And you can also use the back of the spoon and smoothen the surface and close with the lid. So it will be tightly closed. We have to put this into the espresso pod holder. So do not put it in the coffee pod holder. So just like you put the Nespresso capsules, put this into the pod holder and close the cover so this is espresso so let's select two ounce it will take a few seconds for this to brew with the ground espresso there will be good crema on the top here i have used ground coffee open the cover and the reusable pod will fall into the pod container so we can take that out from here Cleaning this reusable pod is very easy. Discard the ground coffee and rinse it in water. Just thought of sharing with you guys, we can also make hot water for our tea bags. So I put the tea bag in the mug and we just have to run the water. So click on 8 ounce. The hot water will be poured into the mug. I'm just measuring the temperature of this hot water. It's around 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius. So our black tea is ready. Let's find out what's the brewing temperature. So right now I'm measuring the temperature of espresso using Nespresso capsule. So before it hits the cup, I'm going to measure the temperature. So here is the temperature of espresso that's brewed in instant dual pod plus coffee maker. It's 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius. One of the factors that can impact the brewing temperature is the temperature of the water that we use. So I'm going to use warm water this time. So let's see if there is any impact if we use warm water. I'm measuring the temperature of espresso. So this is with warm water. So it does make a difference. Right now the temperature is coming to 160 degrees Fahrenheit or 70 degrees Celsius. With cold water it was only 140 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Let's find out what's the brewing temperature when we use Cura K-cup pot. So I'm brewing chai latte right now and I've used cold water. So the temperature is coming to around 170 degrees Fahrenheit or it's like 75 degrees Celsius. Here is the brewing temperature of coffee using reusable pod. So even this is coming to 170 degrees Fahrenheit or 75 degrees Celsius. One of the frequently asked questions is, can we recycle the pots and capsules? So Nespresso capsules, we can recycle them. They have a recycle program. So you can go to their website, Nespresso.com to find out more details. So when we buy Nespresso capsules at the boutique or online, they will give us a recycle bag. So here's the bag, it is red in color. So we can collect all the capsules and put it in this bag. We can drop this at any post office. I've been using this coffee maker for almost a month now and I absolutely love it. So here are my thoughts. I'm a person who enjoys both espresso and coffee and I love to explore different flavors. So this is the coffee maker for me. So if you're someone like me who wants to enjoy all kinds of different flavors out there, so this is the one. And the main highlight of this coffee maker is it's compatible with Nespresso capsules and also with Cura K-cup pots. We'll be able to enjoy fresh espresso or coffee every single morning. So the coffee is vacuum sealed in the pods or capsules. Here is a comparison of the older version Instant Pod coffee maker on the left side and the latest version that's the Instant Dual Pod Plus coffee maker that I reviewed in this video. One of the differences, the older version does not have the bold setting and the latest version has the bold setting. Design updates have been made especially for the spout and there were some issues with the touch screen buttons on the older version so they have updated all those in the latest version. Obviously there is price difference, older version is 145 US dollars and the latest version is 200 US dollars. Now let's look at the price. So it's very hard to give a definite price for this coffee maker. As I've uh, seen the price being fluctuating, so many deals going on. So if you're planning to buy this, compare the prices on Amazon, instanthome.com, Best Buy and Walmart. As of January 2023, here is the price on amazon.com. It's $199.99 US dollars. And on Amazon.ca, it's $339.99 Canadian dollars. The older model Instant Pot coffee maker was listed on the Canadian Best Buy website for $109.99. This is Canadian dollars. And this was in early January 2023. At this time, compared to other coffee machines available on the market, I feel like the price of this coffee maker is at the high end. If you're looking for the best price, it will have great offers during Thanksgiving, Boxing Day sale and during major holiday time. Let's compare this coffee maker with the Keurig and Nespresso coffee makers. I generated this video using augmented reality. So this is the Nespresso SN Sub Mini. As you can see, it's pretty small compared to instant coffee maker. And this is only compatible with Nespresso original capsules. Here is the Nespresso Virtuo Next coffee machine. So the size is quite similar to the instant coffee maker. And this is only compatible with Nespresso Virtuo capsules. And here is the Cura K Elite coffee maker. This is one of the best selling Cura coffee makers. So the size is quite similar to instant coffee maker. This coffee maker is also designed to work at high altitude, 5000 plus sea level. So we need to turn on the altitude mode before we brew the espresso or coffee. So I'm going to show it to you guys how to turn on the altitude mode. To turn on the altitude mode, press and hold the 8 ounce and 10 ounce buttons at the same time for 3 seconds. Wait until the buttons blink 3 times and the altitude mode will be turned on. To turn altitude mode off, press and hold the 8 ounce and 10 ounce buttons at the same time for 3 seconds. Wait until the buttons blink twice and the altitude mode will be turned off.
we can also turn off the sound setting so press and hold four ounce and six ounce espresso buttons at the same time for three seconds when it blinks twice it will be turned off to turn the button pressing sounds on press and hold four ounce six ounce buttons when it blinks three times the sound will be back in this coffee maker it's not loud so i always have the sound settings turned on that was my elaborate review of instant dual pot plus coffee maker so if you have any questions feel free to ask me and if you found this video to be helpful don't forget to give a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe that's a wrap guys so enjoy your coffee or espresso in this coffee maker take care everyone and bye